Hello. Uh, this video is to showcase some of the uh, hacks and applications I've added to my iPhone. I've had this uh, phone for about three days now. And the first thing I did was unlock it and add some applications, and I've been toying with it ever since. Uh, I've been actually playing with it so much that I actually received a uh, text message from uh, Steve Jobs. And this is all it read. Let me show it to you. It reads, What the fuck are you doing? And let me show you what I'm doing. Now, obviously, you can see I already have a different thing set up. Um, just you know, to, it's uh, easier on the eyes. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to install things. You can find them there for other videos. I'm just going to show you some things I have done to my own iPhone. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the NES. NES is the original Nintendo emulator. And let me show you some of the gameplay. Now, the cool thing about this one is it'll actually let me use my uh, cat as the uh, gun. Check it out. And let me show you some of the uh, other ROMs I have on here just to test out. Um, Test out how the controllers work. See how the controllers at the bottom of the screen. Now you can switch it into landscape mode. I prefer the landscape, it's a lot easier to play with. Let's try it out. And just to show you how smooth it is, sounds pretty good. And that is the NES emulator. Go back to ROM list and get out of here. Show you the next emulator I'm going to show you is uh, FNES, which is Super Nintendo. A few games on here. Um, let's just test something out. This one's easy. So you can see the games on top, screens and the bottom, controllers on the bottom. I find it much easier this way as well. And let's play. Now, this uh, FNES emulator actually got released about a couple of days ago, to the public at least. It was in beta, taste, beta testing. And the uh, thing about it is that it currently does not support sound, but it should uh, be updated pretty soon, hopefully within the next weeks or so. And uh, it will have sound, and hopefully it will sound good. Now let's get out of here. Just you know, it's basically the same thing as the um, uh, NES emulator. Next one is the Game Boy Advance emulator. The cool thing about this is actually all of these were created by by the uh, same guy, same development group, and um, this one's actually the most advanced at the moment because it uh, it has enabled sound and the gameplay is pretty good. It allows you to have it into two screen mode. Check out the gameplay as well. So that is the Game Boy Advance emulator. The next one is actually a PlayStation emulator. I currently only have one game on there. I had about three, but um, this is the only one I've gotten to work so far, which is Tekken 3. I'm going to pause the video because the load time is quite large. So I'm going to pause it as soon as I get into the gameplay. Just to show you that it does start out. It's not edited or anything like that. I'm going to show you right now. Wait till it starts. It takes a bit. There it goes. It started up. Uh, pause and uh, go come back when it's uh, into the game. Okay, I'm back into the gameplay. I paused it just for the uh, sake that I had to keep this video under 10 minutes. Uh, it's not that ridiculously long, but just to, I still have a few other things to show you. This is uh, Tekken 3. I can see it's a little bit slow, but it's still pretty fun. It's, right now it's more of a novelty item to have, but hopefully updates will come soon and often, and maybe we'll get something really good on here.
And I just see I'm getting my ass whooped. Now let's get out of here. Now the next thing I have on here is actually a program that I'm going to show you close to the end of the video. It's called uh, Categories. And what it does is it allows me to clean up my desktop. Um, and I can put different applications into one icon. So I put all my internet options into an icon called Internet. And now I have six I icons in here. That way I have to go scrolling over and over to find which application I want. Uh, AP Blogger is actually pr um, AP Logger is actually pretty cool because it allows me to locate uh, for Wi-Fi, and it'll automatically scan for them, and I can have it set up for it to continuously keep on sta scanning. See, auto scan. I have it off right now, but you can turn it on, and what it'll basically do is you're walking around, and if uh, Wi-Fi pops up, uh, Auto Blogger will find it. Um, Back into the internet, I have also Locate Me and uh, NaviZone, which was the one below it. Uh, actually, what it does is it uses cell phone towers to try to locate where you are. It's accurate, it's not that great at the moment. It'll find you within, uh, let's say, 2.5 miles. It's going to say, yeah, I'm not there, I'm about, uh, I would say, 2.5 miles away from right there. I would zoom in, I guess. Uh, don't want to show you where I'm at, though. Uh, but yeah. It's a cool feature. Hopefully, once again, as the updates come in, it'll get better. Uh, Tune Wiki is cool. Unfortunately, I do not have a song at the moment in my iPhone, just because I have mostly rap music and I have them relabeled. Uh, what, it, what this would do, though, is you would play songs from your own title, and what it would do is uh, it would find the lyrics, and as the song plays, it'll uh, play the lyrics for you. So let's go back. Sorry, I gotta stop the music. And uh, let's move on to the next category. This category is called games. This uh, category's got um, all different games and music quiz, which was the, on the original iPhones. Cool thing, uh, if you remember, uh, it'll play a song, and you'll have a couple seconds to figure out what it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Most people are already in that program. Get yeah, back into games. Uh, Sudoku, uh, Tap Tap Revolution is a cool game. I'm sure most of you have already seen it. Uh, it'll usually crash on me on the first try, but let's try it out. And I was right. So it works on the second one though. I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, and what it does is it uses your own songs, and it'll have a different playlist set up already, and you just choose one. Usually, we use three fingers. I don't want to cover too much of the screen, so I just use one. And so basically, it's just dance dance revolution for your fingers, and that's tap tap revolution. Uh, let's see what other games I have on here. Uh, there's blackjack, uh, slot machine. Snake, so I won't go into it because I'm running out of the video. Uh, I guess it's going to turn into part one because I'm not even halfway into the things I want to show you that I have on here. Uh, let's just try to go and try to do one more thing. Uh, Boss Tools is a very important tool. Uh, this tool actually allows you. I had a problem with um, installing uh, more applications. Turns out that applications get set up into a different uh, partition, which is only 300 megabytes big. So once you used up that space, when you start trying to uh, install things, it'll start saying it won't work. So this program will actually let you install your applications into the second partition, which is about seven gigabytes, depending on what kind of iPhone you have. And I've already done that. See, I removed it over, so I can install as many applications as I want. Granted, that I don't do more than eight gigabytes worth. I currently only have a few megabytes. I'll stop the video here, and uh, you can, if you wish to continue, you can see part two. I have four. Um, Plenty of more applications to show you, as well as web-based applications, such as getting uh, serious on your Wi-Fi. Uh, and come meet me in part two.